Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So previously we have created the and it is all working fine. Yep, it is working great. So today uh, we will do something different. Uh, so today what we will do, we will add the uh, map. So basically in uh, in every car game you must have seen some map. Uh, which we do use so here we will see how we will how we can create a really advanced complex map and uh, how we can add some marker over it okay so first thing first just go to the content uh, visual and uh, over the materials I will just make a folder called uh, map <clears throat> so first thing is uh, you need the the uh image of this whole map which is very big so what we will do uh, just create a actor okay place actor and screen nope capture so just go for the screen capture 2d just drag it here uh, somewhere like uh, you don't have to bother that much uh, and uh, position it to 0 0 uh, because we just want it to be in the middle of the map okay so just press 0 and 0 press enter uh, okay see okay uh, next just uh, increase its height so I will just bring up the Z value of this camera so I can see it and a uh, little more okay oh shit okay cool uh, take it more okay so here uh, it is okay you don't have to be precise uh, next thing is what you have to do just uh, change the projection type from perspective to orthographic because it will be the 2d image and I uh, I don't want any uh, eye view right so that is why I'm just choosing the orthographic view and uh, for the ortho width uh, I will just put it 85,000 uh, 85,000 you can just play with this value the thing is in 85,000 the whole map will be covered okay that is why I'm putting 85,000 and this value is really important so you have to uh, like see what you are putting next thing is uh, you need a texture target like where you want to render the image so I will just click right uh, inside the texture just uh, choose the canvas render target the map and the target it just put it here see it is uh, coming it is looking great but the thing is uh, we want the map so I will just rotate it 90 degree over the uh, the pitch so the rotation minus 90 and it is down let's see if we have everything yep we have it so we have something in place see inside the map render target uh, next thing is I what I will do like just check if uh, it is looking great or not see uh, it, it is not giving uh, us anything so what we will do we will just go down and uh, like we have uh, we have done it before right so inside the capture source uh, we will choose the final color final color uh, LDR in RGB okay just choose this and uh, just open it if it is working see it is looking great uh, next thing uh, I we just want it to be like uh, like in 1k so I will just 1024 cross 1024 so we can have a large image let's see if we have it or not yep it is working cool uh, so the next thing is uh, just 
I just untick this capture everything and uh, it will be good so uh, no, right now what I can do because I just need this texture that is why we have done the whole process so you can just delete the camera now uh, you don't need that just delete it and uh, for this render target uh, let's let's uh, export it so action export and I will export it to the desktop map render click save so we have the HDR image open in it Photoshop uh, you can uh, also open in uh, in any software uh, or if you don't want you can also use this texture uh, like default texture in the like uh, I will tell you like you can use default also but I will just change some color variation that is why I am doing this uh, this step is not necessary okay so what I will do I will just choose the path and I will like make it black so we can uh, get the feel okay this is the road or not okay okay so we have it first thing uh, I will just change the mode I will just choose the 8 bit channel and uh, I will like change the exposure and the highlights no nope. just click zero oh come on okay so the gamma exposure don't no details I don't want details to be that much of accurate but I want exposure to be light uh, uh, okay this is good for the highlighted area make it possible reference is okay okay uh, the thing is I'm just tweaking some values so it will it looks good when we will zoom in or zoom out inside the map okay I just press okay uh, next thing I just want this line to like uh, like visible it is not that much of visible but this is the road map uh, we can uh, like tweak it or like let's see if we can color range yep okay and uh, what I will do I will create a layer and uh, I will just color it with black maybe control day see so we have the road uh, what I can do uh, okay so let's do it with this right now so just save as and map dot png and I will save it as png okay so save okay just press cross no nope. uh, you can also use the SDR okay so this step was not necessary uh, so right now uh, I will what I will do I will just delete this target just delete it and uh, I will just drag this uh, to the material under the map okay so we have map in our project now uh, next let's create a material for this map so create material m underscore m stand for material map okay uh, so let's <laughs> uh, hop over some mathematical stuff it is quite easy though uh, so uh, inside the map what we will do so the thing is see if you will zoom in okay, let me check if uh, okay so when we will zoom in let's imagine we are zooming in so I will divide this see, basically this texture is from uh, 0 to 1 like the 0 is this 0 comma 0 and this is 0 comma like 1 comma 0 this is x and this is 1 comma 1 and this is like 0 comma 1 so this is the grid so if uh, like I want to zoom in inside the map uh, I just have to divide uh, the whole textures uh, the UV of the textures 
like let's imagine i want to zoom two times so i will just divide the uv uh, divided by two so if you want to zoom in with four so i will divide it with four okay so let's imagine i just i divide this uh, in the half okay so it will divide this way uh, let's imagine the four times i'm dividing so uh, this area will become the primary one and uh, uh, so after zoom in it will like uh, zoom it here so what we have to basically do i have to uh, like move this area to the specific location where uh, where the player is at okay so we will try to do that so let's hop to the material first uh first thing we will change the domain so material domain will be the user interface because we will uh you, we you will use it in in map uh in the ui so the next thing is i want opacity mask too so i will let blend mask to mask because i want uh opacity mask so the first thing is this if you will pry, uh, like apply it directly uh, so it is visible right uh, so first thing uh let's create opacity mask which is the simpler one just create this sphere mass and uh, a point like texture coordinate just put it in a uh, then uh, the radius i want to be radius like 0 0.5 and the point from and the point from it, it is uh, showing uh, i want it to be 0.5 so i am just pressing one and uh, I will like make it 0.5 I will do the same thing with the radius because I want the radius to be 0.5 and uh, it should create a sphere mask see so we are done here next thing uh, what we will do we have we have to zoom this thing and uh, so we need to create some variables first so what we will do we uh, we had the uh, material parameter collection uh, which we have created before if you don't have you can just create a new material parameter collection just right click inside the materials where is it materials and go for the material parameter collection and uh, we will just open some uh, we will create some uh, variables right so we already have to uh, the facing intensity and the edge intensity it was for the red light i guess uh, so I will just create three more one two three one uh, is for the x value the x coordinate for the player next is y coordinate of the player next is the the map texture map size uh, we don't need that but uh, I'm just creating it uh, just in case so so this is the same value which we have uh, when we were creating the image from the camera we had put the 85000 so okay so we are just getting the same value hope in the m underscore map so parameter collection where is it collection okay just choose the mpc car and uh, i will just for the x y and uh, y and this is for the map size okay so the thing is uh see nope the thing is uh, let's imagine this is our whole world and i'm standing here so i just want uh, like if i am in the middle and i want to map this uh, position from uh, 0 to 1 so if i'm in the middle what will be the value it will be the 0.5 right if i'm in the middle of like from here to here so it will be like 0.25 so the this whole space is of 85000 right we have uh, created the texture so it is 85000 and uh, let's imagine and uh, like uh, the player is here uh, so here will be the zero value of the player so it will be like half of 85000 
so I will just divide the smaller number with the higher number so it will give me the map value from 0 to 1 so you got my point right uh, next thing is when we are in the middle of the map so 0 0 0 start from the in the middle and I don't want that I, I just want 0 0 from start from the like from here uh, right now in the map uh, in the in the map location if you will hop on the examples uh, like on the in this map uh, the zero zero some like lies within uh, in the middle so we have to counter that uh, so what we will do we will just uh, so what we will do we will just add so this, this is zero comma zero so this thing is extra and this thing is uh, 80 so this whole thing is 85 k so if we add it half of 85 k this is the half of 85 k right if we will add those value then uh, this thing will shift here right so we will do the same so the x just add divide by 2 i'm doing the i'm doing the same thing uh, which I just told you, so I just copy this thing. So right now, uh, so basically now the zero zero is here. Before it was in the middle. Now I we have shifted zero zero in the left hand corner. So now what we will do? We will just divide the lower value with the higher value. Like we will divide the x value. Uh, okay, first I will just append these two. Append, append these two, and we will because we just want to divide these two value with the map texture. So that is why I'm just dividing afterwards. So we don't have to put this thing uh, two times. So I will just divide this. So this thing uh, will give us the mapping for, from zero to one for the player location, right? okay this is cool uh, next thing is uh, we have to flip the value of y because when we go f uh, go in the this direction it will move in the opposite so we have to flip so i will just multiply it with minus one okay cool so we are done with the uh, now I, I know the location of that player uh, in 0 to 1 space. Uh, now the second part of this tutorial is like this is our map and let's imagine we have zoom 18 times. So I am I the, the this is the whole map and this is just visible. So if I am uh, like standing at 0 comma 0 like in the middle and we have so uh, in the middle of the map. So this this visible area should be here, right? So we have to move this area in like 0.5 uh, where we are. Like th this whole code is just giving me the position of the player from zero to one map. So we will just move move. We will move this area to the map which we have got from the character. I think you understood, right? So we will do the same so let's first i think we have the zoom variable nope so i will just create one more variable like called zoom and uh, by default i will just put four just copy paste it and i will change it to zoom okay so just texture coordinate or texture coordinate i will just divide i'm just dividing it so if i will just click uh, i will do i will connect this value to uv it will just zoom in see it will see it, it just zoomed in actually if you want to get some clarity you can just change this value see it is moving this is one and this is this so this is zooming in this i'm just uh, for the, by default i'm just putting a four for the zoom value uh next what i will do i will just uh 
and I uh, will just divide it by 2. Okay. And uh, I have divided here. So I will like add, I will add this. okay maybe okay let's add this value from here actually we have to subtract so i will just tell you the whole story in a minute so give me a second we have to now we have to add Hmm. So I think we are done. So okay, this thing looks perfect. See, the thing is, what we are doing here. See, if uh, I will like this is. Let's imagine this is the map, and I have zoomed in four times. So let's imagine this is the slit which is visible to us, and this whole area is not visible. And I am at in the middle of the map. So I have to move this from here to somewhere here. So that is why we are using the add node, right? So the next question is why we are just subtracting this value. If you will like add 0.5 directly, so this slit will move with the reference of this coordinate at the core bottom. So if this is the middle, perfect middle, so it will look like this. So we have to subtract this area the half of the slit that is why we are just dividing the slit uh, divided by two and uh, we are just getting the percentage value so one by zoom then again we are divided by two so this uh, our like so this was the whole scenario so we are done with the map texture so just open the uh, go inside the map just right click the map create the material instance so mi underscore map cool okay we have everything in place now uh, okay perfect next we need to create a widget so just go to the visual herd and I will just create one more widget user interface widget WBP widget blueprint so, and uh, I will like call it map uh, so the first thing is I just want the custom screen so it's custom and I will just make thousand by thousand uh, next instead of canvas panel I will replace it with the overlay compile and uh, first I want an image image I will like rename it like I and uh, I stand for image so I underscore map I want one more image uh, uh, maybe we will add that later so okay just set the alignment for the image and uh, inside the image just choose M I underscore map cool okay so next part is we have to okay so now uh, inside this WP map we have to get the location of the player and we have to update this map right so go to the graph under the tick function I will just play upon why we have using play upon not character can you guess because we are using car <laughs> okay so cars to c underscore ch car base cool if this is true uh, so just get actor location and I will like split 
next thing uh, we want the material collection so we already have a material collection inside this uh, character so i will just fetch that get car mpc car so uh, so i can get the value mm, okay so the next thing is i will create some variable first so set scalar parameter value see inside the npc we have to update the x value we have to update the y value uh nothing else because we can do these things here only uh so we just need x and y so just copy paste to and let me connect the npc okay for the parameter name we have to promote a variable so i will just name it as x and uh, i will put the value x uh, for the default value uh, okay so i just i will just put it here the parameter name will be x you have to put the same name which we have used in uh, metal parameter it was x so next thing uh, we have to create the parameter name for the y also so i will just name it y and uh, default value will be y the y for y i will just put it here so uh, so at every tick we are just updating our x y value okay so let's see if it is working or not uh, but uh, we just have to add the last piece so inside our main inside our main hud we will just add the map so i will just create a image image drag it to the canvas panel uh, i will anchor it at the corner at the left and i will give it a size to like 2000 cross 2000 uh, for the position i will like keep it like 150 and 150 uh, for the brush i will just choose ah, okay no 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 we are just doing it wrong uh, I don't want to put the image. We just want the user created and I will just drag the map. Sorry. Okay. Perfect. So it will be like 200 cross 200 and I will like position like 150 cross 150. Cool. And we have anchored. Correct. Cool. So it should work. So let's keep our finger crossed. We are, I think we are just going in the wrong direction so we have to flip maybe uh, so let's go to the material okay where is this material WPP MI and app map Try without multiply minus win and check if it is working or not. Nope, we have. Nope, it is incorrect. So control Z. Uh, let me check. Okay, so I just replaced the like I just connected y to the x and x to the y. Uh, so it just, the map our map just flipped. So uh, just exchange these two and it should work. Let's cl click play. See, we, uh, I just placed my car at the end of the road. You can see as soon as I will like, put in there, our map also should update. Uh, so we should have something in our map right uh, it is just quite empty in the middle so what we will do we will just we will create 
one more image so what we will do i will just uh, put an image so inside the materials map i have a arrow png so just drag it i will put the link in the description of this uh, arrow in the map just image drag it over the overlay uh nope control z select this come on overlay i will like rename it i i underscore arrow okay uh i will like give the size 50 cross 50 uh, and in the image i will like choose the arrow cool it is quite big so i will just change the size 50 comma 50 and i will put it in the middle it is looking quite uh, small but when we will zoom in it will look good uh, okay next uh, i want the uh, rotation to be updated when we will like when we are driving so what we will do i just drag the i arrow get and uh, set random render transform angle choose it okay and uh, we want the actor look actor rotation so get actor rotation split and i just want the your compile and save see we have arrow uh, which is showing our car so this was it for today if you like the video please like and subscribe if you have some request uh, you want something to add then uh, you can comment me okay uh, we have a support in the telegram channel so you can join it uh, where i can solve the technicalities difficulties which you are facing uh, while following my tutorials okay take care